So, tell me what it is you already, you demon. I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely you haven't forgotten that I hold your friends' lives in my hands. Ugh. Hello. I am your humble host, the extraordinary, legendary, legendary gaming dragon. Here today to bring you yet again another episode of Final Fantasy IX. My voice is a little... I don't know what to even call it anymore. But uh, yeah, let's just continue the game from where we left off at last episode. Time, place, yeah. Oh, we were, we were sailing. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yes, the Black Mage Forest Village thing, yes. Now, these other continents over here, they look interesting as well. And see what exactly we're ask we're uh, going for. Well, there's a beach right there. Looks like an ice thing. The controls on the ship are wonky. Oh, there's a thing over there. Although it's probably locked behind some sort of, uh, I don't know, lock with a key or such thing in order to keep us on the right uh, progression to the story. And this place right here, the third continent. Much, very much like the Una and Marsh, another Marsh. Very much like the first uh, outer, outer continent we went to. Let's take a look around. Well, actually, let's go back to the first outer continent. We do want to progress the story, after all. Now, where do we go? Now, where was the beach? Uh, right here, I think. Yep. Now, which one was the disembark button? Or B, looks like it. Yep, there we go. Now, right. Let's take a visit to Kuz Marsh. Surprisingly, not a battle to be found yet. That is. Boring as ever. Anything new here? No. We're back here again. Cool. Let's uh, catch some frogs. Might skip it this time uh, on the video. But I will be catching all the frogs possible. Goodbye. Alright. We got a silver fork. Wonder what that is. That's yeah, better, yeah. Cool. And now we continue on. Out of Kuz Marsh into the black map. Black Forest Mage thing, Forest Village. I need to work on my English, don't I? But anyhow, let's get going. Well, actually, I guess I could check out whatever that was on the other side. It might be helpful for later. Well, that's a surprising. No, no real uh, enemy battles, no battles yet. That's quite a shock, unless I accidentally click something, which wouldn't be too um, impossible, which wouldn't be too outrageous of a, of a statement, for me that is. Now let's dock the ship, anchor the ship, and let's go. The sandy area over there. Oh, and here's a battle. Great, great. About time. Okay. Well, this is quite a lot of desert area. Desert E area. I don't think there was anything of interest around here. Except some sand dunes. Some sand uh, things. I can't go into those. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Battles, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah. Doesn't look like there was much of anything. There. Or here. 
So, yeah. Oh, there's a cave. That's something. Of interest. Can we go up it? No, I cannot. Hmm, what a shame. Let's have another battle while we're here, no? And now... Let's proceed to those, uh, whatever those things are over there. After another battle, of course. Where, where, where would we be? Where would we be without battles? Okay, let's continue on our way. What's that sound? So there's nothing over there. Well, let's uh, go to that uh, peaks right there. After a battle, who doesn't want to battle a battle, right? Okay, let's see what this is all about. Nothing. Why is my screen shaking? Guess this, I guess this might be for later, huh? Oh well. Let's go back. And battles, I guess. Okay, let's go on the ship. And to the Black Forest Mage's Forest Village. Yeah. But well... Actually, let's. I guess let's stop at Medane Three for a little bit. There we go. Well, aren't I just wasting time and battles? Right, Medane Three, here I come. Ooh, oh, Moogle. Welcome, to trade. So, okay. Let's go and check out the rest of the place. See if anything's changed or such. Moogle. I know you could protect a Koopa. Okay, a lawn wall, anything new there? Doesn't look like it. Yep, nothing new here. Let's go to Ego's house. See if anything is new there. <laughs> Ooh, another Moogle. That's free so far. Uh, rest, I did need that. Waterfall's a little bit annoying on the ears. Okay. I thought I just saw somebody down there. Oh, tiny Moogle. We rescued Lion because she was dying outside. She's with us now, Koopa. Well, that explains it. Mm. Come on, coffee. Mm. That was rude. Let's see inside then. Nothing? Okay. Where did Lani go? The other side was the other side, though. Outside, for sure. Hmm. Strange. A lone wall? Doesn't look like it's snow. Okay. Well, that was Medin 3. And now we go to the ship and to the black... No, to Condo Repeat, I think. Or maybe we go to back to Limblum Harbor. For the synthesis shop. Although I'm probably too poor for it anyway. Still too poor for, for it for right now. But we'll be leaving our ship here, so let's go and grab our ship and loop back, loop around back. But let's battle. First, I guess. Okay, onto our boat now. And let's loop back round around back again. 
And here we go. To Conduit Pit is our mission. Okay. Let's hope we don't get into many more battles. Nice, nice view. Oh dear. Okay. On our way to Kondo P, let's hope we don't... In let's hope we don't get into many more battles except for this one, of course. This one's a special exception to the rule. Okay, here we are. Conduit Pete. Let's enter the temple thing. See how things have changed up long. Did you make the Pentiet? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Although I'm here to meet them again. Once again. If I could spend my life doing nothing but eating, I'd die happy, man. I said that. Sick kind of eats round butt muttons. Yeah, got that. Oh. Are you that hungry to look so far? I feel a wee sorry for you. Will I even search? Well, let's go to the shop, see if they've got anything new or worthy. Oh, Moogle, right? You? Jenny's a bunny lass. Is she not? Alrighty then, let's shop. Raleigh! What can I do for you? Oh, yeah, nothing of interest. <laughs> let's see over here. Do they? Ooh, they might have something of interest. Raleo! You'll be needing a good weapon for the road, will you now? Okay, that's it for this place. I see back. I can tell you what you believe in. Mm hmm, right. Not much there. Oh, I wish there was a bit more. Ah, uh, jazz, I guess. <laughs> This is where I get done to the sun and the avens. Anything else? Yeah, I'm not the one now joined by blessing of the sun. Of course we are a bit young to receive the blessing. Well, nothing new there. How about here? Current number of couples have received the blessing of the sun and the father day one and one. Yes, quite a lot. <laughs> no. Well, let's continue our way throughout the conduit beats. Nothing looks too special. Under guild for a night? Yeah. I bet maybe so, but shall do you good? Yep, he'll do. Here, I'll come back whenever you like. Mm hmm. You didn't expect me to walk on such a fine day as this, do ya? Hmm. Oh, that's not. Quite nice. Okay, let's go out. <clears throat> well, not really that exciting can't repeat that is. Oh, um, yep, let's go back to the Black Mage Forest Village. Or maybe the Synthesizer Shop in Lindblom. Finally back to that. Although we might... We'll do a bit more grinding. Well, it's not like we have a choice if we get into any battles, really. So let's continue on our journey. To the... Yep. Oh, there's also, there's also Fossil Rue right there. In case we ever need that again. Yep. Not much. Except a few battles, of course. Well, let's just speed this up right along, so you don't have to get bored watching me battle and battle over again. Although maybe I should've done that from the beginning, no? Let's continue, let's start, I guess. Here we go. Oh, what strange music. Looks like nobody's here. Where did they go? I'm gonna go look around. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll look around as well. They had a lovely synthesis. But it does look like nobody's here. Can we get them to fly? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Strange. The uh, potion shop. Empty. Do the chocobo egg hatch yet? Nobody here as well. Looks like they've all left. Either, either that or they were forced to leave. Kidnapped, if you will. Wouldn't exactly be the most surprising thing. Oh, Moogle. It's only been a few minutes at most. At most half an hour. All that running around and battling, sure, is a time waster in the recording process. Video-wise, it's not very interesting, and it gets cut out, cut out, because, well, it doesn't provide any story, I guess. Let's chocobo hut. It's locked. Okay, maybe I won't see the chocobo, if it's hatched or not. Mm, the second door down. Over here. And all that's left after this would be to the cemetery over there. Up we go. Inside as well. Yep. Same as always. Same as ever. Right. And now to the cemetery. Where is everyone? They went away with Kuja. Two other guys stay behind and probably at the Chocobo shack. Why? Why'd they go with him? They learned about their lifespan. We can live only for a few, for a given amount of time. Kuja said he knew how to extend our lifespan, so everyone followed him. He's lying. I bet he's lying. Look, look what he's done to us. He's been using us, treating us like puppets. <coughs> Maybe we are just puppets, created to serve humans. Come on, that's nonsense. Where did they go? I can't tell you that. I can't betray them. Then why didn't you go with them? You said the two other guys are a of a shack, right? Vivi! Silence. I guess we're going to the Chocobo Shack. Yeah, I guess that was. Oops, I guess that's what it was called. Yeah. Let's go see the fried egg over there. Hello, is anyone here? Vivi. Please open the door. Hmm. That sounds like a strange Chocobo. It's born! It's born! Hmm? What? Oh. Wait! I'll uh, go inside, I guess. Oh. What a baby chocobo. What a cutie. Finally! Finally! Hooray! Hooray! I still can't believe it! Yeah. I don't understand. Why are you here? We're here to look after the chocobo. At first we were gonna go with everyone, but someone had to stay behind to look after the chocobo egg, so we stayed. We kept the egg nice and warm by, by putting it a lot of uh, by putting a lot of hay, hay over it. I can't wait to show him to everyone. 
They're gonna be so happy. We have to come up with a name. Hey, what's happening to me? I, f I feel strange. Me too. Oh dear. Oh, they're crying actually, probably. Do tears of joy fit this? Or are they dying? You stay behind because you were worried about the choco bag? I don't know. I want to follow Kusha because I was so scared of dying. But I couldn't. I feel like I was leaving something important behind. I want to ask you something. What is it? Am I gonna stop pretty soon too? I don't know. Who just said the prototype we built before us would last longer? But I am gonna stop eventually. I was really confused when my grandpa died. He told me. Vivi, no need to be sad, so I told myself I can't be sad. That's why I felt confused again when I heard that everyone was stopping around here. I didn't know what to do or, or, or what to feel. But when I saw Dagger crying when her mom died, I wasn't confused anymore. I was sad. If I were just a puppet, I would have never felt that way. Mr. 228, Mr. 288, we aren't puppets. I know we aren't. I hate him. I hate Kuja. He's turning everyone into puppets just to kill people. If it weren't for him, I know I, every, everyone would have understand, would understand someday. It's not fair. Vivi. Hmm. Kuja's secret palace is on the eastern side of the continent. Hmm? What? It's buried under quicksand. You'll need a ship to get there. Thanks. I hope we can become strong like you someday. Mm, I guess those sand pits, they did have some purpose, apparently. Oh, Dagger was with us? Mm, didn't know that. Vivi has so much on his mind. Unlike me, he's fighting so hard. I thought I would change after I met Zidane. Once I ascended to the throne, I knew I had to change. But nothing has changed. I'm so helpless. Wow! Dagger, were you listening too? That crybaby sure has come a long way, don't you think? Dagger? Are you alright? Don't worry too much. Biffy has his own way of dealing with things, and you have yours. Come on, cheer up. We'll be Kusha and you'll get your voice back in no time. Zidane. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. Okay, let's let's get going. Mr. Stewart said Kusha Palace is buried under quicksand, right? Yeah, we're taking the ship to the eastern side of the continent to get there. Well, I've already been there. It looks like I'll be going there once again. Let's go, I guess. And we'll do, uh, same as last time. Zoom, I guess. Perfect. And now we continue with our journey on the Chocobo, the wonderful bird that lets us escape battles. And we go faster, I guess. As well. <sighs> what relief. Not having to fight battles again and again and over again as well. I guess that's it. Ooh, there's a thing over there. Hmm, didn't see this. What is this? Is this a shadow from something above, or what is this? Let's, let's check it out. Looks like a mist or some of some kind. Let's get on the chocobo again. No need to waste time or battles. So, so. 
uh, we were going to the dunes, the uh, sand, sand, sand pits, sand, um, quicksand. There we go. There, one of them. Hmm. But which one? This one, the one without the light. Or without the dust, I think. Enter with A, looks like we got it correct. What's down here? You did say under the thing, right? <laughs> I knew you'd come. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> Ooh, how eerie. Oh. Zane, Rivet, wake up. Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> Sid, where the heck are we? Good question, Revit. I wish I knew. After I fell into the quicksand, everything went dark. What do you expect? That's all I can remember. Me too, Revit. When I woke up, Revit, I was in this room, Revit. Oh yeah, where is everyone? I do not know, Revit. I hope they're alright. Well, so you're finally awake. That voice. It's Kuja. I'm so happy to see you again. You rat bastard, where are my friends? Where are my friends? My, my, aren't we feisty today? No need to worry about them. They're in rooms not unlike yours. Oh yes, by the way, I should probably enlighten you as to your current situation. Yikes! I'm sure that Dave and your feeble mind can grasp that what would happen if you were to take the plunge. <laughs> Kusha, you're dead! Oh dear. Was it something I said? Either way, now that you're aware of your predicament, I'd like you to do a tiny little favor for me. I'll let your friends live if you say yes. But one never probably ends in the game over. <laughs> I have no choice. I don't have a choice. Very good. You've chosen wisely. First, step outside. A dragon's lair, sort of like. That must be where they're all held. Hey, Sid, I need to look after the others. Fine, Rivet, I won't let you down. And you, Rivet, come back safe. Yeah, I will. See ya. Now we're getting the story moving. Leave this to me. There's a cage for everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there is. What is this? Oop. Not these guys again. Stand between the two black mages. Whoa. Teleportation magic. Wow. Didn't know they had that. Mm, my footsteps echo. Welcome to my humble abode. Just cut to the chase and tell me what the hell you want. My, we're upset, aren't we? Well, this is your errand. I want you to go somewhere and bring back for me something for me. So, tell me what it is you already, you demon. I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely you haven't forgotten that I hold your friend's lives in my hands. Ugh. I'm going to send you to a place called Oilvert. Where's that? 
Lynn verges south of the Seaways Canyon on the Forgotten Continent. This really isn't, it really isn't my kind of place. What do you mean by that? You see, there's an anti-magic barrier around the place. And I want to send you because you're too stupid to use magic. Once there, I want you to retrieve the Gulu stone for me. What do you say? Isn't it a simple task? I'll even send you on my luxury cruise ship, so you won't have to worry about transportation. Perhaps it's too much for you? I'd better send you with three of your friends just to be sure, safe. Besides, nobody likes to fight against himself. <laughs> Never mind. Speak their names when you've chosen your partners. Well, let's see who I'm, who I'm taking this round. Okay. I want Vivi, Amrant, and Dagger. Fine, I shall summon them. Vivi. Amarant. And dagger. Oh wait, can't she even cast spells? She's mute, ain't she? That might have been a mistake if she is mute and can't cast spells. Step through the door. Proceed to the center of the platform. Aren't you gonna ask us why we're doing this? No, I'd probably do the same thing if I were you. I see. Oh. Spare me the emotional reunion scene, please. Now, go stand with your friends. You'd better keep your promise, Kusha. Of course, you needn't worry one bit. I see. Where's he sending us now? <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Hmm. What a place this is. Oh, all by myself? Oh, I hardly have my party, yep. Well, let's adjust the gear. One second. Hmm. Yes. Let's continue. Well, there's only one way out, I guess. Hmm. Oh, a battle. Didn't expect that here. But okay, let's do it. Yep, let's continue. Whoa. Ah, uh, the Hilda thing. Or no, wait, there's a ship. That must be Hildegard 1. Nope, it is their ship. Well, here's a cutscene from earlier, last episode. There's a black mage. What's he got to say about this? I was told not to go any farther. Okay. Oops, well, I guess I am going farther. Into battle, that is. Okay. Let's get into the Hildegard 1. Oh. Oh, that's where we're going outside. That was a cave from earlier. That explains it. Looks like it's driving itself. Kumosh. We're going round? Which way round? Oh. North, I guess. 
the Ufa tree should be behind this mountain range. Yes, it should be. Right over there. Yep. I guess I know where I am. Circling around to the continent over there. Oh, we're good. Just gonna cut cuts into it. Hmm. Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hey, can we re really trust Kuja? Hmm. Hey, say something. Oh my. They will not answer to you. Respond to our orders only, they do. Why are you backstabbing bozos? Those are Slander's words. Worse lies I've never heard. You needn't concern yourself with such things. Or an end to uh, your friend's lies we shall bring. <laughs> the black mages were in design just to oppress. But the strong sense of self, the black waltzes came to possess. Always obey as the mages do, because a strong ego they have not. These mass produced ones are to break ones they were through with their lot. Other puppets and war they have not. They have grown attached to life, yet they so soon disappear. Hilarious, nothing but toys they are here. I don't think you guys are any different. What? Rubbish? You say that black mages have no souls, but you guys are pawns just like them. Am I right, or what? You won't be talking so big once we're done with you. Regret those words, you will. Well, let's just take it easy until we arrive. Drive safe, alright? Oh my. With the battle rousing from the rousing from the insults and depths of hatred. Looks like we're almost there, I think. Or I don't know. World's a bit bigger than I thought. Well, a lot smaller than I thought as well. There it is. Oh, that's bright and shiny. What is that? Looks sort of like a Triforce. Within a Triforce. Oh, the forgotten one, I guess. That's what it's called. Wait, what's that right there? There's a plateau. Another marsh. Was there anything else that I saw? Forgotten continent, the one on the left. Hmm. Oh, this is where we're landing, okay. Guess I'll just have to search for the thing, jewel thing. Where are you going? You need to go south. Finish the mission, then you can board anything you need, I shall. I sell. Okay. And the relics are kind of to offer me some. Wait, that's it? Oh, where to? Where to? Where to? Oh my. Oh, well, this is where? This is where I need to go. Oh, my. What a place to end this episode on. Yes, that is right. We are ending the episode right now. It'll... Uh, well, I hope that's at least half an hour. I hope. There was a lot of running around in the early episode, but it's, we've recorded about two hours now, so it should be fine. Anyhow, that has been it for this Final Fantasy episode, by, brought to you by me, the humble, your humble extraordinaire himself, Legendary Gaming Dragon. Otherwise, let's pray, and give thanks. Thank you God for everything that you have done for us, thank you for all that you have given us. Thank you for our family, our food, our house, our place, our bed, for the air we breathe as well. Thank you for everything. Please change us and help us grow into holier men, into holy men. Thank you for everything. Amen. All right. And now that has been this. I already said that. 
Well, don't think I have anything else to say. Well, except for one more thing. That being said, that be it being it. The thing being, goodbye and see you around. So, goodbye and see you around. <laughs>